In this video, I want to show you how I personally set up a talkback mic inside of my Logic Pro 10 projects. I have a Duet 2, and for me to be heard by the vocal talent in my vocal booth, I set up an aggregate device. And let me show you how to do that really quick. You need to do a search for audio MIDI setup. It's a utility that comes with every Mac and it looks it has two screens this one is uh, the audio devices screen and this is the the MIDI studio screen and you can jump between the two with command 1 and command 2 what we're interested in right now is the audio devices side of this utility and here you can see on the left, it shows you all of the different audio devices you have set up in your computer. What you can do is create aggregate devices, which are hybrid devices of at least two separate audio devices. You create an aggregate device by clicking on this plus sign and selecting create aggregate device. I'm going to call my new device duet slash mic and now let me add some devices here I'm gonna add a built-in microphone and a duet I'm actually gonna flip that so I'm gonna unassign my built-in microphone and reassign it so look what happened there the built-in microphone now is in charge of my input channels 3 and 4 and that's something to keep in mind. The order in which you add these devices to your aggregate device will determine which channels they get assigned. So since I wanted my duet to be in charge of channels 1 and 2, I had to do a little rearranging. So that's all for creating an aggregate device. Let's go ahead and create a new Logic Pro file and I'm going to add two audio tracks to this project. From here, I need to go into Preferences, which is Command, Comma, or you can get to it by going to the Logic Pro X menu and selecting Audio. Here you can see which audio devices I have set up as my output device and my input device. If I click on the input device menu, I, I should see my aggregate device here. If you don't, then go ahead and shut down your Logic Pro and start it back up. It just needs a little restart to be able to see any new aggregate devices you've created. This is the one that we just created. I'm going to select it and hit Apply Changes. Now let me rename this track to talk back. I like to make my talk back track the first one because every time I add a new track, talk back always stays to uh, being track one. And I actually have a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard that I control my Logic Pro sessions in. And I always know that if I hit mute on track one, then I'm going to be muting my talk back and that mute button is the button I use to communicate with the talent in my vocal booth uh, audio 2 I'm gonna change to vocal booth now if you remember and let's go back into the audio MIDI setup command 1 this is my duet slash mic aggregate device. Duet is feeding into inputs 1 and 2. So if I go and pull up my mixer, if I select my vocal booth, I want to change the input to be either 1 or 2 because obviously I'm recording my vocal talent using my duet. On the other hand, I can see that my built-in microphone on my iMac is feeding into channels three and four. So I'm going to want to change my talkback channel to have the input of input three. Another thing is uh, 
I always want to have this I selected. Um, having that I selected makes the talkback channel audible, whether or not it's recording anything. The built-in microphone on my MacBook or my iMac is way more than sufficient to work as a talkback mic. I can hit my unmute button and speak in normal volume, and the microphone is just so good at picking up anything I need to convey to the vocal talent. And the only thing I would say you need to be careful of is making sure that you have your studio monitors muted if you're using a talkback mic. If you forget to mute those speaker monitors when you unmute the talkback mic, you're going to get some feedback. Fortunately, the Duet 2 has soft keys that you can configure using the Maestro 2 software. So if you go into Maestro 2, just click on device settings. Uh, you can see that my left button on my Duet 2 is set to mute speaker. So before I unmute my talkback mic, I make sure I tap my left soft key. And when I do that, you can see this icon pop up, letting me know that I muted my speaker. And then I can hit the mute button for my talkback channel.